Oh yeah, check out that cheese. Here is our Nutri-Slicer, which retails for about 20 bucks. As you can see, it is an as-seen-on-TV item, so let's do a quick unboxing. As we pull everything out of the box, we can see our Nutri-Slicer here, and it looks like one, two, three blades. Then I have an arbitration agreement. It looks like some directions. Let me continue unboxing this. I'm going to read through the directions, and then we're going to set this thing up for use. Here is everything unboxed and unbagged. All right, so my three blades, I have the slicing blade, I have the grating blade, and I have the shredding blade. Of course, this is my handle. This piece right here that's on an angle, it's actually called the angled dispenser. This upper part right here is the large feeder. Of course, this part's important because this is actually the food pusher. They don't want you using your fingers going down into here. Our first step is going to be to wash all of these. I'm just gonna throw them all in the dishwasher, but first I have to get the angled dispenser are out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull down on this button here, just like that, and then slide it forward. If I want to reinstall it, I just push it back in, make sure I get that clip. I'm going to show you real quick how to install a blade. So I'm just going to take the shredding blade right here. I'm going to push it up and through. It goes actually through the back end here of the angle dispenser. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to push the button on the handle a little bit just to get it through to lock in. Once it's in there, I'm going to test it, make sure it works, and there we have it. It is ready to spin. To reverse the process, push the button, wiggle it out a little bit, pop it out, and there we go. All right, now we're going to suction cup this down. Something that you need to know is when you do it, you should actually push down on it and then hit the lock. It's even so easy to get done that a four-year-old can do it. All right, hit that lever. Two hands, good, good all the way down. All right, ready? Let's see if we can pick it up. Look at that, it can pick it up, pretty sweet. Of course, to release it, all we do is pick up on that lever. There we go. Before we go much further, if you're new here, my name is Jeff, and this is Jeff Reviews For You. I review a whole lot of products. I specialize in reviewing as seen on TV items. Every once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY, just because I like to. If that aligns with something that you're looking for on the internet, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing, don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now let's get right back into reviewing this Nutra Slicer to see if it's any good. We are locked in tight and ready to go. Let's start by slicing some cucumbers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them right in here through into the large feeder. And I'm actually just gonna be holding them with my hand, pushing them down until I get down to about this level right here. Once I get there, I'm gonna switch over to the food pusher. Let's do this. Oop, it's not spinning yet. All right, here we go. All right, we're spinning. Now I'm to the part where I'm gonna need the food pusher, so let's continue. Looks like we got every last bit of that, or almost at least, got this little piece there. But it did a good job slicing up these cucumbers. All right, let's see if we can clean out this blade, how we do that, we just push this out, and I guess we can just clean off all this extra stuff that's there. That wasn't too difficult. I'm gonna keep going. I've got two more cucumbers to do. One of them has the skin on, and the other one I took the skin off because I do want to see what it's like on softer vegetables or fruit, so let's continue going. Now let's try the cucumber without the peel. Made real quick work out of it. Now that we've chopped up our cucumbers, let's try some carrots. I'm gonna use a couple carrots here on this blade and then I'll switch it over to the shredding blade. Just like with the cucumbers, it chops the carrots real easy. Now let's try shredding some carrots.
It really was simple cleanup of the utensils. All I did was run it under water, but let's look at the actual product. Let's try the cucumbers first. There is some uniformity to the shredding, but it's, they're not all uniform. Some are thinner, some are thicker. Some looked like they were just ripped and others looked like they were cut smoothly. So if you're looking for like real high quality looking cuts, this is probably not it. But if you're looking for quick cuts, you know what? It did a pretty good job. I really liked the shredding of the carrots. Like if you look at the slicing, it's very similar to that of the cucumbers. One thing I did note is when I was shredding, some of the carrot stuff, actually a lot, would get stuck between the angled dispenser here and the actual cutting blade. And so all that meant was I had to clean it up. But like I said before, running underwater and it cleaned up really easily. So tell me, what are your thoughts of the Nutra Slicer? Have you used this product, something like it? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Now I'm excited to try to shred some cheese. This block of cheese just happens to fit right into the large feeder, no problem. So I'm gonna start shredding. Spinning slow. All right, well, here it comes. All right, I'm gonna stop it real quick and show you something. This part of the cheese here was actually going in between the plastic and the shredder. So it's important to move this around and not just leave it in one stationary location. Let's keep going. And because it doesn't shoot out very far, you gotta bring it in here so it doesn't fall off the plate. So I'm just now done shredding the entire block. And I noticed a lot of the cheese actually spilled. So just be aware of that. Now it did a really quick job of shredding that, but I do notice, let me unlock this here. Some of the cheese actually is stuck in here. So when you clean it out, just know that not all of it got shredded. Although not as quick and easy to clean up as it was with the cucumbers and the carrots, you still can clean it up. It just takes a little scrubbing. Now let's shred or slice some potatoes. So I'm a little disappointed with the potatoes. I guess after chopping the carrots and the cucumbers, I thought this would be different, but they're definitely not of similar size. I mean, some of them just came through smushed and thin. Some of them are, are thicker and maybe had oval, some were circles. And check this out. Somehow a carrot came out. I'm not even sure where it came from because I've washed this every time. So somehow that was still stuck somewhere. Anyway, so I'm not as impressed with these potatoes. I'm still gonna try to cook them, but just so you can see that plus, this piece was left over and wouldn't shred. In this video, we were looking at the As Seen on TV Nutri-Slicer. So what did I think of it? Well, first things first, I know this is an older product, but when your four-year-old gives you something and he's excited that it's an As Seen on TV product, well, you do the review. The price point is around 20 bucks, which as you know, I like when things that fall right into that $20 As Seen on TV price point. I like that it comes with the three different cutting blades or wheels, so to speak, because therefore you have a lot of different options that you can do with this. The cleanup was really easy. All I did was rinse it off, threw it in the dishwasher and let it dry. And then it was ready for the next time I wanted to use it. I thought it was really convenient that they had that suction cup base because I tried it without it and that thing moved all over the place. So without that suction cup, man, this would be very difficult to use. Well, what didn't I like about it? Well, the first thing I didn't like about it is the cuts weren't very even and sometimes they were just misshapen. So if you're looking for perfect cuts, this is definitely not the thing. I like that it's quick and easy and I can just chop things through and move on. But a lot of the cuts were very jagged, almost looked like it was torn or ripped. Also, it got kind of frustrating when the food just slipped beside the wheel and the angled dispenser because, well, that clogged up the unit. You had to take it apart and clean it and then get going again. In the end, I think it was a useful tool and I liked slicing the cheese because there's nothing better than freshly shredded cheese. Anyway, if this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great Day. I know I mentioned a pro tip in the video about having a bowl that fit right underneath the lip of the Nutri Slicer, but this is what I was talking about. Now when you're using the Nutri Slicer, everything can fall right down into the bowl. There's no risk of it falling between a plate or all over the Nutri Slicer itself. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Nutri Slicer. You know what? Not that long ago, I actually reviewed a product called the Nutri Chopper and I didn't have a whole lot of success with it. Anyway, I'm not going to ruin it here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link that review right up here and I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you at this review. So go ahead, click it, it's safe, I promise.